Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what should you know about your person? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's get started. Let's see, spray angels and guys, please show me what should Libra know about their person, please? Whoever it is that Libra is currently connecting to and dealing with in love, what should Libra know about their person? All right, thank you, Spare. This is for Libra. All right, Libra, first card we have here is the Tower in the Reverse. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Tell me more, Spirit. We also have here the Empress showing up. That would be your energy, Libra. And we also have here the Page of Cups in Reverse, Water Sign Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. Okay. Seven of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So with the Tower in Reverse, I'm definitely getting an, an energy of unfinished business um, that this person is feeling with you. I don't know why we have the Eight of Wands. That's what I want to know about. So let me just clarify that. Spare, why is the Eight of Wands in Reverse showing up here, please? Clarify this Eight of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person has been holding themselves back from taking action in your direction, from reaching out to you. Um, but they definitely feel um, a heavy energy of unfinished business with you. They just, they've, They've just been holding themselves back from doing anything about it. Okay. Hmm. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse for Libra? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person has been wanting to fix their relationship with you or fix their connection with you for a while. They've been wanting to work things out with you. This person is definitely carrying an energy of guilt. Hmm. Yeah, this person definitely is feeling guilty. Um, I don't know why this person's energy feels a little bit neutral. Well, actually, I was about to say, are you dealing with a Libra? <laughs> I was about to say that right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe some of you are dealing with another Libra like yourself. Because uh, it's, I don't know, it's weird. I feel like an energy of guilt, but I'm also feeling an energy of, I, that's all I could do. I couldn't do more or I couldn't give more. Like, yes, I feel guilty, but at the same time, it's like there, it was out of my hands or there's not there there's nothing else that I, there's nothing else I could have done or that's as much as I can do okay that's as much as I can do what's the page of cups in reverse please very clarify this energy connected to libra uh okay well there we go temperance that's kind of what I was talking about There's an energy of them wanting to apologize to you because they feel guilty. But there's also like an acceptance in their energy of, again, I keep getting like, um, I, that's all I could do. That's as much as I could do. I feel bad that I couldn't do more, but 
it's out of my control. Something like that. It's weird energy. Tell me more about this page of cups in reverse. Oh, five of pentacles. Okay. Okay. Well, that, that, that explains why they're in this mindset of, well, that's all I could do. That's all I could do. That's, that's as much as I could do. That would explain why five of pentacles is someone who feels like they don't have much to their name. You know, Five of Pentacles is someone who feels very limited and restricted and feels like um, they just don't have enough of anything in their life. It's like a, a feeling of, of, of poor, uh, you know, someone feeling like they're poor. Someone feeling like they're lacking a lot in life and within themselves also. They're lacking a lot of self-confidence, self-esteem, or uh, motivation, determination, strength. Hmm. Let's get one more for the Page of Cups in reverse, spirit, please. Okay, so we have the Hermit card showing up here. What is the deal with this person? I feel like this person is beating around the bush. I'm trying to get to the point here. The Hermit card. You know, I feel I, this is reminding me of another reading I just did recently. But with the Hermit card, I feel like this person is definitely in this energy of, I wish I could talk to Libra. Like, I really want to talk to them. I really want to fix things with them. I really want to apologize. You know, that was messed up of me. I shouldn't have done that or I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have acted that way. You know... Libra didn't really deserve that from me. Like, I really want to make things right, you know. Yeah. But it's, it's a weird energy, um, Libra, because I feel like this person is nowhere better. They're not in a better place than they were last month or last year, you know? It's that type of energy. Like they're they're still in the they're still in a in a bad predicament, in a bad situation, in a bad place in their life. So it's like they want to come toward you not because they're doing better, but because they feel guilty and they just want to apologize and like um, make amends with you. Let me take a deeper look at their intentions because I don't, I don't understand what this person is doing here. It feels like that's, like, like that's it. Like they're not expecting anything in return from you. Like they just want to um, get rid of this guilty conscience that they're carrying. Hmm. Spray, what are this person's um, true intentions with Libra? And also they feel, um, like I said, a heavy energy of unfinished business with you. I don't like the way this person views themselves because I feel like this person is really harsh on themselves and very like critical on themselves. That, that might be something that nobody knows about them, perhaps, but I feel like this person is like super critical on themselves. And I want to say unkind. I feel like they're very unkind with themselves. All right, uh, what are this person's true intentions with Libra Spirit? Oh, okay, we have the lovers here. So this person feels a very, very intense 
connection with you. <coughs> Sorry. All right. I don't know why I coughed there. Sorry about that. Um, this person feels a very intense connection with you with the lover's card. They're very attracted to you. They're very passionate uh, of you. Very passionate about you. Very attracted to you. And they do feel a very strong spiritual connection with you. <clears throat> Tell me more about this person's true intentions with Libra. All right, yeah, we have the moon card. Yeah, I was I was about to say that. We also have the seven of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Oh, there goes the knight of pentacles as well. It's like this person wants you to give them a chance, but they know that they're asking too much from you. It's like they want you to be patient with them. They want you to be patient with them because they're not in a good place in life. And um, they know that there's a lot that they need to work on and that there's a lot that they need to improve on. There's a lot that they need to change and, and, and make better. And there's an energy of this person like wanting you to like be patient with them. But they know that that's asking you, that's asking a lot from you. It's like this person knows that you shouldn't have to be patient with them or you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have to wait for them. You shouldn't have to make sacrifices for them. It's not, it's not right. Oh, Lord, this person, this person is giving me a headache. You know, with the moon card in regards to their intentions, it's like they don't even know what their intentions are. They don't even know what their intentions are. They don't even know what they're doing. They don't, they don't even know what to ask from you. Or to ask of you. Um, they don't know what they want. They don't know really what the right thing to do is. They're just kind of in this lost state of consciousness. It's like because it's like they really want to be with you. They really want to connect with you. They want to make things right with you. But they also feel like they're just going to make things worse. You know, they're kind of in this energy of, you know, I probably shouldn't do that because I'm just going to make things worse. Like um, by by resurfacing or by, you know, reaching out to Libra, you know, I'm probably just going to make things worse, you know, it would maybe be better if I just remain distant. But it kind of hurts them, it hurts them because they don't want to be distant from you, they don't want to be far away from you, they want to be in contact with you, but they just don't, they don't know if, if that would just make the situation worse you know, or if they would, or if it would make things more painful between the two of you. They're not really sure what you're thinking or what you're feeling or where your energy is at currently. So that's another thing. They're not, they're not really sure about what, what you would want. They're not really sure if you even care about them anymore or or if you're interested in them anymore or if you've or if you don't if you don't care about them or if you moved on with that moved on with your life so they're very conflicted here about 
about reaching out to you. Even if it's just to apologize to you, they, they feel like maybe that maybe an apology would just make things worse, you know? Like maybe this is a box that I shouldn't open, you know? Maybe I should just leave this box closed. It's like they're struggling to to let go of this feeling of unfinished business, you know? It's like they're struggling to detach yourself, detach themselves from you um, because they can't stop thinking about you. I feel like they're trying to like respect you also. They're trying to respect you. They're trying to, to just remain at a distance from you because there's an energy of them feeling like I can't really give Libra what they deserve. I can't give I can't give Libra what Libra wants from me. Um, I'm not in the right place in life to to be any good for Libra or to be or to be of any use for Libra. I I can barely I can barely be any use to myself. So it's like they're struggling with their ego, you know? Their ego wants to just, you know, their ego wants what it wants. Like the, it, their, their ego just wants to be with you and, and forget about the consequences. But the other part of them, that is not um, influenced by their ego feels like it would be in your best interest if they stay away from you. As much as they want to be with you, it would be, it would be better for you if they weren't in your life or if they didn't call you or contact you. Why is this so dramatic? I feel I, I, this is very dramatic energy here. The pain, I feel like there's a lot of pain and suffering here. Of like wanting to be with you, but feeling like they're not good for you. And feeling like you deserve better. And they're doing their best to like hold themselves back and, and resist they're, they're this intense temptation that they feel to, to, to go looking for you. They do really want to like have a growing relationship with you, have a stable relationship with you. They just don't feel like they're capable of that. Why don't they feel like they're capable of that? What's the, what's the issue here? What's the challenge? What's the challenge for this person, spirit? This person has some emotional issues is what I'm noticing. What's the challenge for this person? Three of Wands is the challenge, okay. So for some of you, there's like long distance between the two of you, uh, physical distance. Hmm. Okay, three of wands. Yeah, I'm getting like, yeah, well look, once again, we have the Five of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck with the Strength card. This person just has such a limiting mindset, I feel. But, I mean, maybe it's true. I don't really know what their circumstances are. I mean, maybe, maybe they really are in... Maybe they really are struggling. Or maybe this is just their mindset. But yeah, um, I guess what you need to know about this person is that, um, 
you know, they can't stop thinking about you. They feel really guilty. They really want to apologize. But they feel like if they were to reach out to you, they might just make things worse. Um, because then the emotional connection between the two of you will reignite. And, and it would be for nothing because this person feels like I still can't give Libra what Libra wants or what Libra deserves. So it would be a waste of time. We do have the Seven of Pentacles, though. So there's an energy of them feeling like things can get better, things can improve, but it would take time. It would take time. Um, it would take time, and this person doesn't really want to ask you to give them time, although that's what they want to ask you. Yeah, that's what they want to ask you for. They want to ask you to give them time, but they feel like it's not right for them to ask you for that. They don't want you to make that type of sacrifice. They feel like you shouldn't have to make that sacrifice for them or for anyone. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is a this is this is a very dramatic love story reading. So, you know, there could be financial issues here, certainly. Yeah. There could be financial issues that are burdening this person or work issues that are burdening this person. Um, this person is burdened by external factors in their circ in their in their in sorry in their environment is what I'm getting for some of you. I feel like they're burdened by external factors in their environment. Uh, what can you tell me about the Empress Spirit? This reading, by the way, feels like a very specific reading. This doesn't feel like the type of reading that, you know, the majority of people are going to resonate with. It feels very personal. It feels like a personal reading. What's the Empress here? Uh, the Queen of Cups is the Empress with the Chariot card. And also, oh, look at that. Three of Wands. You also have the Three of Wands here. Just like them. This was the card that showed up as the challenge. So, yeah, we have two three of wands here. So this is definitely feeling like a long distance relationship um, for some of you is what I'm getting. Um, the chariot can represent the need to travel in order to be with someone. And with the queen of cups... You do have feelings for this person, Libra, whoever this person is. You do have feelings for them. And I feel like you are in this energy of waiting for them to take action toward you. But if they don't take action toward you, then this relationship is not going to go anywhere because you're showing up as an empress. And the empress is someone who... Um, You know, it's someone who doesn't um, take action. It's a feminine energy, you know. So I feel like you're harnessing this feminine energy here. Doesn't mean that you're a woman, you could be a man, but I feel like you're harnessing feminine energy, which is basically telling me that you're not going to take action towards this person. You're not going anywhere. You're staying where you're at. Um, and you're waiting for this person to... Um, take action towards you if they really do want to um, make things work with you and if they really do want to be with you. Um, but if they don't or if they're incapable, then I feel like you're not, um, you're not going to do anything about it, you know, so... You're just going to continue waiting for the right person to, to show up in your life. 
again, you're harnessing feminine energy, which is which means that you are a receiver. Okay. All right, Libra. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.